Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis. So I feel I have a very special video for you today where we are going to be starting off with analyzing the current range on the Bitcoin chart. I will then be moving on to the swing long position that I still hold on Bitcoin and the targets that I have for this to the upside. And then I'll be covering the levels of support that we need to be aware of for the next, you know, seven ish days for, you know, should we see a bit of a pullback here on the Bitcoin chart? You, you know, it's the levels of support that you just need to be aware of. So I will be covering that, all of that in today's video. So, you know, I hope that you really enjoyed the video. I'm going to keep this one very concise and very professional for you so we can just get into what we love. And that is trading Bitcoin. So uh, without further said or do. Let's start off with, as we always do in these videos, the educational piece. I know we love to start off with the educational piece because basically, if you can kind of get into our brains, how we were looking at the charts, how we were trading the charts, you know, you can start to implement that yourself going forwards into the future. And that's what we want, you know, to create self-sufficient traders. So I'm going to cut, start off with the narrative of how we have recently just rose, obviously, to about 56 thousand dollars and then i'll be moving on to this current range and how we can be looking for our targets after the breakout of the range okay so starting off obviously with the narrative here so if we zoom out onto like the four hour chart we obviously can start to add on our technical analysis and you know here we just have a value area high point of control and a value area low this is obviously of a prior range and this is all, you know, all comes down to you having your technical analysis and having plans it's like i wrote on uh, twitter the other day you have to have plans. You have to be able to prepare, plan, make ideas. And this all stems from your technical analysis. So it starts from your technical analysis. And then it comes down to the psychological, emotional aspect of trading of actually sticking to that plan. So it's, make, it's making a few different steps. Number one, make a plan, which for myself obviously was short for take the 40,000 liquidity, e.g. more than happy to wait for a 20% drop to the downside because this is what my plan is. Wait for the drop. When the drop hits, after waiting from the 19th, we saw the drop, you know, you've got to be looking for those long positions, take the longs, and, you know, it's, it, it all just come down to being prepared, having a plan, no emotions within that, and execute, you know. So this is obviously the, the, the drop that we had, okay. So it's, it's just really important to remember the only way you one could have traded this successfully is by being prepared, being prepared for that drop to the downside. And this is the bit where I, I love to blow your minds in these type of videos. Um, and obviously, the, the, the day that we dropped was that special, special, special day on the 22nd of September, mentioning this first of all in the Champions Group back in the start of August, by the way, start of August, I first mentioned the 22nd. Don't forget the day, mark it in your calendars, something special is going to happen. And obviously something special, very special did happen on the 22nd, never below $39,000 again. Um, so the signal on the 22nd was never below $30,000. Hmm. What was actually very interesting is the day of the 22nd was when we put in the low of this move, which was really, 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 you know, that that's pretty amazing though, don't you think? So it's a, it's a case of what I've said before. It's, it's all well and good having the plans. It's all well and good being ready and waiting for lower levels but then if you can time the day when significant pivots on the chart are going to be put in can you see the advantage that you're starting to have on this chart you are starting to gain a massive 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 edge on the competition if you not only know the level that price is going to drop to but you can also recognize the day that the lows are going to be put in you can start to do very good trades let's just say that and obviously we can see here we did drop down below $40,000, exactly as predicted. And we also put in the low on the retest there on the 22nd, exactly as predicted. If you manage to long the retest there on the CC on the 22nd of September, well, that was the absolute low of the move. Yeah, that low was never taken out if we just put on a vertical line along that CC retest. You can see that retest was never taken out. OK, so really, it was a very good day to be aware of and uh, never below thirty nine thousand dollars again. And obviously, we have made our way up from here. Yeah, a very, very, very nice rise to the upside. OK, and so I've taught you through the narrative of how we had the plan of looking for below forty thousand dollars, how when it happens, you know, we are not scared. We are not fearful. We are ready and waiting. We are taking the longs and, you know, the rest is history. We're looking for higher prices at that time. 
you obviously do start to get these higher prices. And then this is uh, from the last YouTube video that I made. I done a video for you all where I was talking about that massive level. The, the video was literally about the massive emergency level on Bitcoin, which was that value area high. It was a level that we had to be aware of because honestly, for me, it was a very, very, very significant level. Hence why I literally titled the video emergency level on Bitcoin and made a video talking about one level. And obviously what happened on this level was if we zoom in here very nicely, we can see we breached the level. We breached the level to the upside and we actually find temporary resistance off of the weekly level. OK, and if you're a champion, I know not everybody here is a member, but if you're a champion in the champion script, you will know on Sunday's live stream. Obviously, I was bullish looking for higher prices. I had a bullish bias and I mentioned about this weekly level. I said at this weekly level, I do not expect a full blown reversal. I do not think we put in the high of the weekly, but I do think we can get a pullback off of this level, e.g. hit the level, pull back and continue upwards. Those were my exact words. So I was definitely ready on ready for this level since Sunday. OK, obviously, we touched the level a few days later, but it all come down to being ready and waiting, you know, aware of the level. And you can see here, these are live updates that I'm giving in the champions group. So you can see here at 22, um, so basically 27 minutes past 10 UK time. You know, live updates as it's happening. I'm telling my team, I would really like to see a tap of that weekly resistance. You know, I'm looking for us to tap this level, put in a bit of a swing failure pattern of the high, you know, and, and look for that pullback. Not a full blown reversal, but good enough for a short position. Well, about how long was it after that? You know, about 20 minutes later, exactly as predicted, we come up, we tap the weekly. And, you know, at that time, I'm personally expecting the pullback. Why? We've seen the swing failure pattern. We've seen the tap at a weekly. We can definitely look for lower at this moment in time. Why? Because we've got enough reasons to look for the short. It is a high. It is a higher term time frame level. We've seen a swing failure pattern. We've seen a clear rejection of the level. You know, this is good enough for a short. Obviously, now we know price has breached through the level. But at the time, we got to trade the levels for what they are. And this, this is this is a short position. Okay. And what can we say to ourselves at the time? Well, where would be a very good target? Where would be a very good target? If we are shorting off at a weekly for an overall target, what would be a very nice level? Hmm. I wonder what the value area high, no? So what obviously <laughs> this was pretty brilliant. In the end, you got a retest once again of the weekly, very powerful level. And we breached down to have a guess where at value area high. And we're talking about, you know, perfectly getting the retest of that value area high. So you can, you can start to see here, this is no way random. This, this, these charts are not random. We're not only able to predict where price is going months in advance, we're also able to predict to the exact day lows are gonna be put in. And then on top of that, we're able to predict even on the intraday basis, resistances and supports to pretty much the exact dollar. This market is not random, I hope you can see that really hope you can see that. And obviously what happened was uh, from those weekly rejections, we come down to our value area high. And again, then this is a level where we can look to flip into longs. Why? Because this is a high term time frame support level. We've, uh, myself personally, ask any of the champions, have had an overriding bullish bias made very clear in the champions live streams. I am looking for higher. I am holding my swing longs. And, you know, I got to think that we're going to, we are ultimately going to push higher here. For me, it was off of that very, very, very important level. Yeah, it's worth the trade, especially when you see the legend himself, Igor, also looking at the exact same level with three levels of confluence off of that value area high retest. And he is also saying it should be illegal, <laughs> should be illegal, <laughs> this level of support. So when it starts to come along like that, you see myself saying, Hey, we're holding support for the back test. You're seeing Igor in the group saying, well, this level should be illegal. It's so good. And well, obviously, like other people are saying, you know, you're seeing such good confluences with the CCs, the value area highs. It's, it's a really good scope trade. And again, you can check the timestamps on this. This is no hindsight. This is no talked after the facts. Obviously, I am in this YouTube video, but within the group, it's all posted before it happens. The accuracy of the levels are magic. And, you know, Obviously, we this is the result of this. OK, we see an absolutely gigantic pump to the upside. And for a little bit of icing on the cake before I move on to what's happening here, Eeyore also pointed out 
while we were below the weekly, yeah, while we were below the weekly here, he also basically said <laughs> at least 52.140 before we get any pullbacks, e.g. he thinks the weekly is going to be broken, he's looking for higher, at the time I was like, right, okay, I'll close out the rest of that short position, then <laughs> within five minutes, price went absolutely mental and pumped extremely hard, so I would always say shout out to the Ed legend Igor, the guy is, let's just say he's doing very well indeed, gave us the heads up for the move to the upside, Obviously, absolutely blasting through 52k, but we're not going to complain about that and make our way up to $56,000. So that, now that brings us on to what's happening now. I hope you've enjoyed the little start of the video for the first, wow, 10 minutes, wow. But I hope you've enjoyed it nevertheless. So me talking you through the price actions here, talking you through how you can get such levels, talking you through how you can get such accuracy. That's all to do with Fibonacci time, by the way, on the 22nd. Being aware of the pivots literally a month in advance all about the 40k liquidity grab it will come down really 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 simply to having the plan yeah having the plan not getting scared you know there you go 8th of august price didn't hit it till the 22nd of september but for over a month i'm ready and waiting for the level it hits take the trade you know what can i say uh and very happy um but yeah that, that brings us on to what's happening here and even yeah even on the lower term time frame smashing it i mean yeah i don't want to don't want to uh show off too much because people <laughs> people might get offended um anyway bringing this on to the current range that we have here then so if we drop down onto the 15 minute time frame here what we can see is we actually have a very beautiful sideways channel occurring here so if we add on our parallel channel i've already got this one added uh what we can see is we've put in our original high we drop that down to put in our low we made our way up last night for actually a swing failure pattern of the high. Okay, so classic actually, pretty classic swing failure pattern. Take the high, close back down below. You actually got a bit of a retest and then you've obviously made your way back down towards what I would consider the bottom of the range. So you can see the low of that range is coming in at about 53,800 and the high of that range is obviously about $56,000. So on the intraday, and this is what we mean by, and I think this this is sometimes where people can get confused. Uh, sometimes people will get confused like, you know, I'm, I'm in an intraday short position where I'm in a higher term time frame long. And so if I come on a stream and I say, or a YouTube video like this, and I say, oh, I've taken a short from the top of the range, looking for the lower of the range. And then if price smashes through, people are like oh how you were in a short how can you also be in a long some people do get confused confused but it's really actually not that difficult you have to think to yourself i'm in a swing long trade from thirty nine thousand five hundred dollars and i hold longs from lower as well 28 29 000. i'm in quite a few longs but those are swing trade ideas i'm, I'm not going to be put off a swing trade i'm not going to close out my swing trade by what's happening down here on the 15 minute chart yeah i would want to see some higher term time frame target hit or or a bigger rejection and a loss of support. I haven't seen that yet, hence why I hold on to my swing longs. Doesn't mean that I cannot take intraday short positions. Yeah. Uh, so obviously this is a swing failure pattern of the high. You can generally look down for the low of the range as your target. We obviously have slightly front run currently the, the, the low of the range here. But we could say that there's still the probability that we are going to come down again. Why? Because if we look here on a very local time frame, such as the five minute, we can see since the day has really begun here, we are putting in our low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. This can still be our lower high and we can come down still once again for another lower low. Does the low of the range have to hold? No, of course we could continue downwards, but one has to think in terms of probabilities that we can look to do something like this, maybe the deviation, the reclaim, and then a move to the upside. Okay, this is one thing that again confuses a lot of people is you never know 100% certainties whether you get a deviation or whether you get a continued downtrend the only thing that you can do is set an alert and wait for the reaction there it is it is it's somewhat it is somewhat useless to predict the difference well, don't get me wrong of course it's it's good to be aware of the differences but you know if you get a deviation trade a deviation if you don't get a deviation don't trade for a deviation you know so you need to be aware of what can occur here. But to say one thing is definitely going to happen over the other, it, that, that's where it becomes a little bit mm, not a good use of your time. So I would be either saying here, would wait for the deviation. If you've got a deviation, you can trade for that off of the low of the channel. If not, then of course, you're going to be looking for a, a bigger drop here. A few levels of big support that we have to the downside. Obviously, that weekly itself and that value area high 
um, you know, is still a support level. If we start to lose those levels, uh, it's like, um, yeah, it's not going to look as bullish, is it? It's going to it's not really going to look so great. We're going to be looking back down towards, you know, 47,000, in my opinion. Big point of control there, 45,900. Am I necessarily expecting $45,000 while we're at 53? No, of course not, because I have levels of support prior to that. So why would I be looking for 45 while we're below, while we're, you know, you know, we still got prior levels of support for me. That's not really the way that I'm approaching this right now. I'm trading this level to level. I know my next level of support. I know my next level of resistance. If we lose the level of support, I'll look down to the next level. If we lose that, I'll look down towards the next level. Okay. So it's a, it's a nice way of trading. Uh, so obviously these, honestly, these, these two levels here are very, for myself, important levels of support. If we are losing these, I do think the bearish is increased well we could be looking for those pullbacks to around 47500 eg uh the last high volume node of this range if we lose that yeah of course we're going to be looking back down to towards lower levels outside of the scope of this video um and then obviously to the upside well if we get our rotation to the top of the range we're looking at once again really simply for 56k as our resistance level and then should we break 56k we obviously have our big nice daily there at 56787 and then as Mike said yesterday, $58,000. Well, obviously we can say that's, a, again, that's a massive region. I, I would even say 57,952 to $61,000. It's such a big region. To, to say a, a dollar of that region is is a bit in, in not necessary, let's just say. It's just being aware that this is a this is a region of resistance and it's quite a big one at that. You know, I wouldn't be looking to long into those levels of resistance. Thankfully, I have longs from lower. If we can continue up, I'll hold on to the longs. If we see rejections, I'll start to hedge my portfolio with shorts, you know. Um, for swing trades on the intraday, you know, we've, we've got a range to trade. Um, so really, that that's the way that I would approach this in a very, you know, thought out, methodical way of trading. Very planned, very calm, very collected. You won't see me getting emotional in this range. You know, sometimes I'll come on YouTube, I'll come on Twitter and might seem like I'm emotional, but no, I'm very calm and very collected. And, you know, you've got to treat this trading as a business. If you treat it, treat it as a business as such, e.g. your money's on the line, you know, your assets are on the line, you want to do, you know, you're not going to mess around. You're not going to do stupid things. You know, you want to do well. And so to do well, you have to remove the emotions. You have to do your technical analysis. You have to make your plans. And, you know, hopefully by me making these videos, like I was saying in the Contenders live stream last night, I'm not here to brag. I'm not here to say, oh, look at me, look what I can do. You know, I don't need that. I don't need this. What I can do is say, look at this, look at what's possible and use this as inspirational. Like really, that sh this should be so motivational. I truly believe you you got to be extremely motivated and think, Instead of thinking, wow, this guy's showing off, or this guy's so arrogant, or this guy isn't humble, you know, this is what some people will say. You've got to be the guy that thinks and looks at this video like, oh my God, I want to trade like this guy. This guy, this guy is nailing it. It's just, for, for me, I get happy seeing my own results like this because it's just like to know where I come from and to see where I am now, you know, this is only possible by hard work. Hard work you know, continuation, not giving up and just bam, 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 every day outworking the competition. Yeah. 22nd of September. Ideas like you've never seen before. Accuracy like you've never seen before. Every step of the way on every time frame. Some people will say, yeah, this guy never loses. Well, it's not often that we're getting losses. Obviously, that's not to say I'm never going to take a loss. Of course I will. But you know, high probability trades. I'm not, I'm not taking random trades. I'm taking good, thought out trades yeah and that, that's the end of the story really so that's that's my analysis of today um i've talked you through how we approach this level how i had those ideas the current range that we're within of course you could have taken a short from the swing failure pattern of this high um and now you can just be looking to trade this range if you lose the level of the range with no deviations you can look down towards your next level of support if you deviate from the range and get back within you can look back up to the higher range if you break the higher range you can look towards your daily levels slash 58k if we start to break down from the range we can look for our weeklies or you know if it starts to get pretty bad back back down to, to i don't want to be too bearish here but you you are you could accelerate to the downside uh it's so like mike said yesterday something that does go up very quick can go down very quick so you do want to be somewhat careful if we start to lose support 
but until proven otherwise we haven't lost support exactly as predicted the levels that we have hold exactly as predicted you know it all comes down to just having good technical analysis what can i say thank you ever so much everybody if you've enjoyed smash that like button as hard as you can smash it smash it smash it smash it if you smash it to over let's say smash it to over 3000 likes i will do a special live stream for you where i'll share some let's say share some trading secrets uh so if you want that smash it to over 3000 um if not i hope you've thoroughly enjoyed as always this is an educational entertainment stream only no financial advice from myself <laughs> um <laughs> That is something to be aware of. If you want to see more, of course, um, chartchampions.com. we got all the education over there. And you've also got the updates in the day from myself, from the other coaches, you know, that we truly feel are absolutely invaluable. Um, so, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. And, um, yeah, absolutely crush the charts. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day. Have a brilliant weekend. And I'll catch you soon. Cheers. And, as always, CC Paul sends. There, regards. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.